All right, hey there everybody, it's Big Dave again, and um, I wanted to do a, a kill everyone challenge. I've done all the levels in the past, and I wanted to try to do some in the new Patient Zero campaign, and I thought about trying the Vector, which is the reskin or reimagining whatever of the Colorado map. Uh, but of course, there's not really that many people on here. There's like 26 or 25 guys on here. It's very quick, actually, to do a kill everyone challenge on this level. So I thought I might do something different, and that is to uh, do a kill everyone challenge on this level, but uh, every kill has to be either an accident or the body has to be hidden. Um, and that will actually play towards uh, the challenges in this mission. If you've played this, you know there's actually two challenges you can unlock for this mission. One is to kill all your targets uh, using an accident. Another one is to kill all your targets uh, uh, by hiding their bodies, stealth kills. Uh, because there are different ways you can actually hide bodies even though it is a sniper only mission. Uh, so what I'm going to do is do a kill them all Welcome on this level. But I'm also going to do everything as an accident or as a stealth kill. Now, as you can hear, Diana's feeding me information constantly because the premise of this level is that I don't know who my targets are other than this guy. This guy right here in the suit, I know he's one of my primary targets. But as for my other targets, I do not know. Actually, this is a good chance to show a good accident kill. I can get a two-for-one special while both of these guys are standing here. Just like that. Beautiful. So, now... <laughs> so, it just so happened that the guy he was standing next to also happened to be one of my targets. I didn't even realize that. That was just a lucky break. He's always a target, but this guy isn't always a target. I just happened to be that way. So, but anyway, that's a good uh, double whammy accident kill right there. So, I said I was going to do all stealth kills first, and then the very first thing I did was an accident kill. So, uh, But yeah, as I was saying before, Diana's going to be talking constantly throughout this run. It's going to be kind of annoying, because she's going to tell me every single time I kill somebody that is not a target. <laughs> I have some more anyway, alright, so let's track. see this guy right here. So, this is a good example of a stealth kill. We can take him, and it's going to knock him, if you saw it, knock him right into those bushes. Um, and so that's a hidden body. That's going to count as an unnoticed kill. So if you do all accident kills and make sure you only kill your targets, you can get a pretty easy Silent Assassin rating on this level. So over here by the tractor, this guy's an easy stealth kill. So it knocks him right into the bush. This guy's an easy accident kill because of this right here. But we're going to hold off on that accident kill. And just focus on stealth kills first. Here's one. Oh. I missed my opportunity, but you saw easily where I could have knocked him into that bush. Let's see who else. There's usually some easy stealth kills by the house, like this guy by the well. In the well. <laughs> also, we could have accident killed him. As you can see, there's a propane flask right here. There are a lot of opportunities for both stealth kills and accident kills in this level. Sometimes you have to be patient for things to line up properly, um, but usually it doesn't take too right. long. This should be helpful. The target is a free Here's another one. Watch for anyone shadow boxing. Stealth. And I'm going to set up this accident too. So if we shoot this blue barrel, that's going to leak water out here. And uh, then I can shoot that. And then this guy is going to walk right up to it. Or he's going to walk the opposite direction. Okay, okay, so he found the gun that the other guy had dropped. But eventually he's going to come back here and he jogs around the house constantly. So he's going to run right through that and get electrocuted. I don't know when that's going to happen. Also, apparently I've already uh, gotten all of my targets. Just by like random chance, um, <laughs> I've gotten all my targets. So... 
That's interesting. Anyway, oh, just got him. That wasn't one All of the right, targets. cool. So. That's another easy accident kill. Uh, the ones that spook people are the ones that are explosions. So, like, this guy right here. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Alright, apparently he did not fly far back enough to go into that bush. Um, but he should have. If, you may have to catch him as he's walking by instead of after he gets by it. But uh, you can knock him into a bush there or there, or you can get him with an accident kill by shooting this propane tank. He does walk right by here and stand here for a second, so it gives you a good opportunity. This guy right here does not move. So you can't really get a good stealth kill on him, but you got a good accident kill right next to him. That was a non-target forty-seven. Stay focused. All right, so that's everybody by the house. Um, as I said, there's not a whole lot of guys in this mission. So this guy is hard to get for a stealth kill. You can lure him with gunshots, like you can shoot here to lure him around and then shoot a little further away and then shoot him into this hay bale. He will fall in there and uh, if, if you need to get him as a stealth kill, otherwise it's clearly much easier just to blow him up right there. Um, this guy in the barn, if you shoot him right here, he will fly into that hay bale right there and that'll be a stealth kill. Uh, if you need to kill him with an accident kill, you can get him with the hanging hay bale right here. You just shoot that, like in the re regular Colorado mission, and it'll fall. So, this guy is actually going to check that out, which means he may be close enough. Okay, so he, he was not quite co close enough to fall into that hay for it to be a stealth kill. But we could have lured him over a little bit more, and it would have worked out. So what do we got over here? We got a couple more guys. So this guy right here who's shooting, you have a couple different ways you can take care of him. Eventually he's going to walk over here, and you can take him out uh, with this red barrel for an accident kill. Or you can wait, and he'll walk over here. You can take him out and knock him into these rose bushes. Or he will actually lean against this railing and you can shoot him and he'll fall into the hay. So there's a lot of opportunities to take care of that guy. So here he comes right here. We'll just go ahead and get him this way. Yeah, nice. This guy is a little bit more annoying because he sits over here a lot. Um... What we can actually do here, though, when he goes to pick up that gun that and take it and drop it off, you can barely see there's a gun case. Here's the top of it. There's a gun case hidden back there. So if he retrieves a gun and takes it over here to put it away, you can shoot him and get him in that hay bale. Or he should be close enough that you can take him out with this explosion. Um, and that is everybody in the shooting range and the barn. So now we have... Uh, the garage area. So both of these guys can be taken out with accident kills. These are not good ones to get if you need to do stealth kills only. So if you're doing um, a stealth, the, the stealth kill challenge where you have to hide bodies and you get these guys, um, I would recommend restarting because these are some of the only guys where there's really no good way to stealth kill them. Um, what we can do is hit this. So that's going to set up an accident kill for this guy. Because he's going to come over here and smoke. And it'll eventually set himself on fire. This guy will sometimes wake up and walk over here. And if you shoot him when he's over here, he will fly off the back of this building. And his body will not be found. So it will be an unnoticed kill as long as the other guy doesn't see it. Uh, but it does not count, I don't think, it counts towards the uh, hidden body challenge. Because technically, knocking them behind that building isn't actually hiding the body. So anyway, we got this guy here. You can kill that red barrel. Or, 
you can wait till he's underneath the car oh, and shoot this little hydraulic speed. tank and it'll drop the car on him like I'm about to do to this guy. <laughs> that was a non nice. Stay focused. All right. So then we have this guy over here. Uh, easiest way to take care of this guy is with the uh, accident kill right here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. That was a non-target kill, 47. We got this guy. So this guy's wandered off his routine. Um, as have these guys. So all the <laughs> all the explosive guys have wandered off the routine because I made noise. So that's something to consider too. If you start doing accident kills that are explosive accident kills, you are going to disrupt some of the routines of the nearby people. However, the people all the way over on this side of the map are not going to be affected at all. There you go, turn around. I'm, I missed that guy's timing again. I wanted to, oh, he heard that, but he didn't turn around and go back. So let's see if we can get this guy on the way back. We set up this uh, red barrel for an accident kill here. If he will just turn around and come back real quick. Here he comes. Okay, well... <laughs> Apparently I shot that dude like right on the edge of his foot and it uh, was enough to kill him. This sniper rifle is a one-hit kill if you hit anywhere on the body, so... Whatever. <laughs> Alright. So we got this guy. If we need to stealth kill this guy, we can easily lure him over here in front of this bush. If we need an accident kill, it's right there. That was a non-target 47. Stay focused. Okay. So now we just have a few more people left here on the map. Let's look down at this kitchen area. So we have a couple opportunities. Uh, right here. We can set this guy or both of them on fire. We can shoot this guy and knock him into the rose bush. Uh, we can shoot this fire extinguisher and blow up that guy. Lots of options. Lots of options. See, all the routines get messed up when you do those uh, accident kills. So... Sometimes you have to wait for him to reset to get him back where you want him to be. Oh, there's a fun guy. We'll go ahead and take care of that guy. So, obvious accident kill right here. He's also standing in front of a bush. So, we could have shot this propane tank for an accident, but we went for a stealth kill with the bush there. We got this guy back in front of the bush. So, we'll take care of him for another stealth kill. That was a non-target kill, would you say? Be more careful. Please. All right. See, now that they're noticing bodies, they're starting to bag them and everything. Stealth kill there. He wasn't one of your targets, forty-seven. And this guy's bagging. Nobody's gonna see him over here, though. So uh, let's just go ahead and snipe him for regular. Whoa! My first bullet like went straight through his body. That was very strange. All right. Only a few guys left in the mission. As I said, there are very few people actually in this mission. So we want to get him over here because we're gonna get him with an accident kill. Didn't mean to reload. That was an accident. All right. That was a non-target, 47. Stay focused. So unfortunately, there's no easy way to get these guys when they're over here. You just kind of have to wait for them to go somewhere else. They're, all the routines are disrupted now, because I've set off a ton of explosions. <laughs> but that's all right. So let's check on this guy over here. 
There is actually uh, an explosive. I'm sorry. There is an electrical accident right there. Dude, I was I was trying to electrocute that guy. You can shoot this barrel here, and then uh, shoot the electrical outlet there, and it'll electrocute him. But he literally walked in front of my bullet, so he screwed up me showing you the accident and killed that one. <laughs> um, so this guy's standing right next to a protein tank. Pro pain tank. <laughs> I think I said protein tank. Uh, so that's unfortunate for him. Another explosion accident. Looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, six guys left. And now they're all wandering around so much. Um, I might just start picking them off with a sniper rifle like normal. But you can see, uh, even when they do wander around, you can see if you look in your instinct mode like this, there's so many. Every one of those big bulges is a place a body can be hidden. Every one of these little things is something explosive or flammable. So there are a lot of options. Even if some of your targets get spooked and start to run, a lot of them will run this way over here, and there's an explosive here, 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 here. There's little explosives everywhere, right here, right here, right here. When they're trying to run, if you can't hit their body or you're trying to get accident kills, aim for those little explosives when they get nearby. It's a real quick and easy way to take care of the runners. Okay. So yeah, these guys are all just wandering around randomly now. So we're going to get this guy in the fire. Nice. Got him, right? Yeah, we got him. So you can zoom in and remember you can use your instinct while you're zoomed in in sniper mode. Um, and you can also slow mo it. So got another accident kill there. You can just wait for him to walk by explosives like that. Uh, it's a really great way to get those accident kills. Is this guy under the car? Kind of looks like he is. <laughs> he is. Alright. So now we just got, what, two guys running around now? Looks like we're almost done here. One is one of these hackers. Where is he? He's just being annoying. Let's see if I can snipe him through this net. No, I can't. Alright, I don't know how that, like, camouflage net is bulletproof somehow, but it is. So let's get this guy. Let's see if we can lure him over here. You can lure him toward those hay bales and then shoot him. I missed. I went for a headshot and he started to move and it whipped right past his head, so... He's standing right next to a tank, so we'll just get him that way. Nice. He <laughs> just popped up. That Woo! Wasn't one of your targets, <laughs> All right. So the last guy left is this guy, who is hiding back here. But it looks like he's getting ready to walk. I just need him to walk somewhere, anywhere. Just need him to start walking. Go ahead and start walking. Anytime, buddy. Anytime. Okay, this guy's not moving, so I'm just going to start setting off explosions as near to him as I can. And hopefully it'll get him moving. So, let's see. Find me something explosive. There's something explosive. Get him moving. It's 
spooked him. He is, oh, he's running, he's running. Okay, good. We just needed to get him out of there. All right, where is he going? Where is he going? <laughs> oh, he's going to hide somewhere. Dang it, missed. Oh, hey, there's another guy. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna kill you. Very good. And you. Nice. All right. Is there anybody else? How did I miss that? There was, there was a guy out there just like dragging bodies around in body bags. I'm glad I saw him there at the end. Otherwise, I would have missed somebody. But I think that is everybody. So you see zoomed in all these things if you're in the instinct mode. There's so many different options to hide bodies or get accident kills. Um, I had trouble with it at first, um, but once you play this level through a few times, you can get through it lightning fast and get all the, the you can get those challenges real quick. It's not as hard as it seems. So anyway. Um, if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe if it helped you out at all, if it gave you some ideas on how you might like to play uh, your challenges for the uh, stealth kills, hiding the bodies, and of course, the accident kills. So, let's see... <laughs> 26. I thought there was 26. So yeah, there's, there's 26 guys on that level. Not much of a kill them all challenge, but maybe a little educational uh, if it helps you for your in-game challenges later on so like i said if it helps you out be sure to like subscribe if you're on youtube if you're watching me on twitch i'd appreciate a follow all these things help me to create new content and uh i will see you next time thanks for stopping by hey if you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe on youtube and hit that bell icon to get notifications when i upload new videos you can follow me on twitch to watch my live streams and follow me on twitter and facebook to keep up with the latest announcements and be sure to check out my Patreon page, which really helps me make more new content. Thanks.